Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, mid-tempo. The new course is available at Let's Synthesize Academy. Yo, the lesson here, welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. We all love Trash to right? And the new Trash is just simply disappointing. But don't worry, you can build your own in Kilohertz Multipass. And this is what we are going to do right now. And like always, you can grab this from my Patreon below. So the first thing that I see, we have this multiband option. So obviously we need to use multipass. The first thing that I see here is that it uses two stages of distortions or shaping with a built-in filter inside of that. We cannot do that inside multipass, so we need to use snap heap. Okay, so in every band, we have this pre and drive function. We only need two parallel buses. So I'm using a shaper and the shaper table at the same time for maximum flexibility. So let's duplicate them and just drag them over. Okay, so we need filters too, low pass filter and a high pass filter. Again, duplicate it. And we have this inactive drive function that can be replaced simply by a distortion and use the saturation. Let's drop it in front of everything. And the pre is basically just a slider for the input gain. So let's drop again again in front of everything and basically we are done with the stage part because obviously we have an output gain and a mix but all this here down below okay so we can copy these to all of the three bands you can use more if you want but this is as i said more than enough okay so here comes the tricky part because in trash 2 we have a really flexible graph here so you can put anything before or after anything what we need to do is put all these effects, so two filters, on both of the pre-effects and the post-effects part. And because the filter itself is more like a slice CQ, I would use a slice CQ instead of a simple filter. And because we can use two of them, let's duplicate it, and let's use the same thing on the post-effects. Okay, let's use a convolver, a dynamics, and a delay, but I would use a dual delay here, that is a lot cooler than a simple delay. Now we need to think about why the delay is in Trash 2. So why it is handy? Why, what do we use it for? Obviously to have some really nice resonances. So if you want, you can use like a resonator instead of the delay or a comp filter can be really, really helpful to create those awesome resonances that the delay can provide. So I'm just leaving these here, but I disabled them, so it won't cause any problems. One more thing, maybe I would use a gain and the saturator outside snap heap, so this is a lot easier to handle everything. Cool, so now I think we are done here. Let's test it with a saw wave. Okay, this sounds a little different. Now the cool part in Trash, even if you enable it, or disable it, it always sounds the same. With our Trash 2, this is not the case. And why is that? Simply because of all of the drives and dynamics are cranked up. We need to fix that. Also in the shaper and shaper table. Obviously these colors sound really heavily. Okay, so right now that I pulled back the drive on all of the devices, We only have some gain differences that we can fix easily here. And there is one more thing. As you can see, we have some mix and gain knobs and master draw wet. But it is all here in the main output mix and the channel mixes and gains. So basically, these are our model. We don't need to deal with that. And because this effect is very heavily modular, I don't recommend, or at least I don't see any reason to use macros. Really, you need to dig deep into the plugin to shape your sound with custom shapers, custom distortions and filters and stuff like that. Right, so you can grab this preset from my Patreon build with tons of other cool stuff and check my academy if you want to dig deeper into music production. See you guys next time. Peace.